Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Brooks here and welcome back for another video. Now, before we start today's video, I do want to explain why I look so different or better put why my art style on my sig fig looks so different. So I was kind of doodling around in Mechabricks, which is the program that I use for 3D modeling and stuff. And I made this figure and I really liked how it turned out. So for today's video, I'm just going to have this as my main little sig fig. Comment down below what you think of it and if this should be permanent. And all right, let's just get right into today's video because I'm super excited to show you guys my custom Lego Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Odyssey, the Odyssey ship. Oh, and also before I forget, shout out to Righteous Raptor. He actually gave me the inspiration to make this. So a huge shout out to you. Remember, if you guys want a shout out in one of my future videos, make sure to comment down below your idea for a future Lego Super Mario set. And also make sure you're subscribed. If you do those two things, then you can possibly be shouted out in one of my future videos. So stay tuned. Okay, now actually let's get into the builds. Starting off with Bowser, he uses the same build and design as the Bowser from the 2020 Bowser's Castle set, except for his top hat. Speaking of his top hat, there is a little Bowser emblem on the rim. Lego would probably use a new piece for that, but I just decided to put it on a little 1x1 flat tile and just like print it on there. I think it looks pretty cool. Another printed tile is the flat tile for his tuxedo on his chest. It just uses this nice white tuxedo look to it and it's super fancy and I honestly really like it. You can see it has some golden buttons on it, which I think looks really nice against the purple vest under the white tux. He also has a nice purple bow. And that's pretty much it for Bowser. The next character in this set is Mario. The electronic Mario would not come in this set, but the Mario Odyssey overalls and also the Cappy would be included. Another huge shout out to Vin Vin Mario or VVM over on DeviantArt. He makes some really nice custom Mario stuff, just like the Mario figure you see on screen right now. So go check him out and let's move on to the next build. The build for the Odyssey was super hard to design. In the game Super Mario Odyssey, the Odyssey is a top hat shaped airship ship that Mario and Cappy fly around from kingdom to kingdom collecting power moons to fuel the airship. This was super hard to design because Lego Mario is very blocky and the Odyssey is super round, but I think it really turned out great. This is my personal favorite part of the whole airship. This is the bottom part. In the game, there's like these weird dangling gear things that come down. And basically, I just used a big, huge gear and a bunch of little gears surrounding it. I, I honestly, I don't know why I like this so much, but I really like how this turned out. And also for the actual globe, there's just a little tiny minifigure head that has like a bunch of continents on it. I didn't really want to put like the Mario map on it. In the Super Mario Odyssey game, there's this weird orange fluid stuff in this glass ball on top of the Odyssey. I honestly have no idea what that stuff is or what that fluid is. It's probably like fuel for the Odyssey. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below because I have no idea. I just used a 2x2 two two clear dome piece to show off some orange studs in there. It kind of makes it look like some liquid. And then the bottom bowl part is just a orange bowl. I was going to make that one clear, but I thought it would look pretty cool like this. And I was right. I, I really think it looks great like this. Around the side of the Odyssey, there are a few flags. One of those being a Mario checkpoint. It just has a little Mario emblem on the little flag. There's nothing in the actual build of the Odyssey, but there are a few windows around it that are shaped like top hats, just like in the actual game. You cannot actually look through those windows though. Those are just blue plates. Moving up above the little orange ball of goo, the main sails are used out of the same pieces that make like a Lego hot air balloon. I just used three of them. There could of course be way more to complete the whole Odyssey ship, but I honestly really like the shaping of this and I think it just really makes it look a lot like the Odyssey. On the program that I use Mechabricks, I couldn't like print a number on the front of the sail to show how many moons you have in game. But if I did have that ability, I definitely would have done that. And that's honestly pretty much it for the build. Let's move on to the box. The box for this set just shows the actual Lego Mario set in a lot more detail. You can see that you can actually step on the back of Bowser a few times to like defeat him. Another thing that's different is the Lego Super Mario Odyssey logo that's actually in the top left. I really like how that looks. There's also a picture of Mario throwing Cappy in the bottom right. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. I love each and every single one of you guys. I hope you guys like the new Sig Fig style. Of course, if you guys don't, I'll just like change it back. I don't really care. But like, I just wanted to try this out because I really liked how this looked. Make sure to comment down below your ideas and if you like this new Sig Fig style. And if you want to see more of this Benny, not that Benny, but this, this one right here, the one that's talking, not the other, get out of here. 
If you want to see more of the new Benny, then just comment that down below as well. And if you want to see more cool uh, Benny Brick stuff, go over to my Instagram, at Benny Bricks Official. And with all that stuff out of the way, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, let's see. Uh, let me just... Uh, ah!